Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. All right, I want to take you to where it's snowing right now. This is the Sierra. This is in Kirkwood near Lake Tahoe. Heaviest snow above 7,000. And it's doing this all the way down into Mammoth as well. This is all part of storm number one that will eventually move out of California and then move into the interior Rockies. Here's radar. You can see that heavy arc of precip snow now already over the top of Tahoe all the way down towards uh, Mammoth Mountain here this morning, and again, all this will be moving into the interior. All right, let me show you what I'm thinking here this morning, latest information, latest bullet points. So now I'm looking at three storm systems between today and 210. You can see the timeline for all three of those storm systems right there. Still looking at snow bullseyes for big grand totals in the Sierra. The Wasatch, Western, and Southwest Colorado will hold some of the biggest grand totals. This Panhandle Hooker storm system for Colorado continues to trend stronger with a pretty optimal track on 2-3. So we're going to get a nice wrap around and some, some nice production and generation of upslope winds over Denver to the foothills and right up to the top of the Continental Divide. So this could really benefit areas like Loveland, A Basin, Winter Park, Keystone, and Eldora. Remember, I brought those, those totals up yesterday afternoon, and I'm going to keep them high here in this update today. So we'll look at all that in the, uh, the forecast update here. I want to take you back and I want to show you water vapor satellite imagery this morning. So on this, your moisture aloft, whites, blues, and greens. There's our first big storm system, the pattern shifter, number one. That will eventually be moving into all of the Intermountain West, 2-1 through 2-4. Another storm system behind it, that's storm number two, and then another one behind that. That's going to be storm system number three. All of this being escorted into the West on a powerful subtropical jet stream. Really strong transport mechanism. Okay, let me show you what this is going to look like. So that's the current state. That's the state of affairs by this afternoon. Forecast radar and satellite. All right, 2-2 two, two in the morning. Storm system begins to depart California. The energy makes its move into the interior. Snow begins to develop in earnest over the, uh, the Wasatch, down to Bryan Head, all the way up into the Tetons, Idaho, and eventually Colorado. You can see it moving in there during the day. All right, here's the key time frame. So this is 2-3 in the morning. The low starts to spin up somewhere around the panhandles of Oklahoma and Texas, southeast Colorado, Albuquerque, New Mexico. That's an optimal position. Wraps precip, and ultimately what it's doing is it's enhancing the upslope flow with easterly, northeasterly wind type component on uh, through the Denver area and piling that moisture, lifting the air up over the top of the foothills and continental divide. And that's where we're going to see that just bank right up against um, some of those. Um, those continental divide ski areas. So that's 2-3. There's 2-3 in the afternoon. Snow all the way down to Denver. It should be gone on 2-4. Here comes storm number two out of California. A little bit ragged. Takes its time, but eventually it moves out into the, uh, the moves out into the Intermountain West. This is 2-7. Heavy snow, big sky, Tetons, Wasatch, and eventually into Colorado. There's 2-8. Departs on the morning of 2-9 out of Colorado. Here comes storm number three. You can see it diving in from the uh, like central northern California, Oregon, somewhere in there. That center of low pressure will then dive into the Intermountain West. And then it basically just cruises down through Utah, Colorado, and New Mexico. And that brings a third shot of accumulating snowfall. All right, let's look at the jet stream. All right, here it is tomorrow, 2-2. Two, two. You can see that trough, the, the nose of the jet carrying that area of low pressure through the interior states. 2-8, second storm system. You can see the, the trough, the dip right there through uh, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico, and eventually that moves away early on 2-9. Then you can already see the next dip coming into the Pacific Northwest, central to northern California. That's that third area of low pressure that will race into the interior. And here it is on 2-10. You can see the dip in the jet. That area of low pressure dives down through Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, basically the four corners. A little faster moving, a little smaller. All right, new grand total map, uh, all of today through 210. Big time numbers in the Sierra. Now we're over 80 inches for Mammoth Mountain. 44 Little Cottonwood Canyon, two feet for the Tetons, one to three feet in Colorado. A lot of one to two foot, solid one to two foot, uh, one to two feet for a lot of places in Colorado. Anywhere you see purple, that's a foot or more. So the biggest numbers, you can see where they're at. Western and Southwest Colorado, the Wasatch and the, and the Sierra. But pretty awesome numbers up there in uh, parts of Idaho and Montana as well. Look at Bryan Head, Snowball, Arizona, um, Tahoe, Ski Santa Fe, Angel Fire, really benefiting from the development of that, that Panhandle Hook Storm system as well. So big numbers. 
All right, let's zoom into that map. So grand totals today through 210, uh, central to northern mountains of Colorado. There's your I-70 corridor. Everybody's, it's pretty uniform. There's a little bit less as you drop into Summit County, but we're still looking at about a foot there in Summit County. Um, potentially one to two feet on the Continental Divide, one to two feet Steamboat Buck Pass, uh, Vail. Let me show you uh, even further west. So we'll move into the Aspen area, the West Elks and the Collegiates, about a foot for the, uh, the Collegiates down through Princeton, Harvard, uh, Elbert Massive. Uh, now, as you move into Indy Pass and drop down into Snowmass, numbers are still right around 18, 19, 20 inches. I've been pretty consistent the last couple of days with those. But potentially a solid two feet over Capitol, Maroon Bells, Conundrum, Preston Butte, Gothic, all those areas. All right, let's break it down by period. So 2-1 through 2-4, this is the first storm system. Heavy-duty snow in the Sierra, 1 to 3 feet. Um, about a foot for the Wasatch, about a foot in the Tetons, and about a foot in Colorado. Uh, obviously, there are some places that will get more, maybe a foot and a half in some of those preferred areas. All right, here is a, this is a, the second phase, 2-5 through 2-10. Two, two, this accounts for Storm 2 and Storm 3. That's why the numbers are so big, but we could be pushing over two feet for parts of the uh, the Wasatch, another foot or more for the Tetons, and in Colorado, another four to 12, central to north, potentially uh, up to 20 inches down in southwest Colorado, and another one to two, maybe three feet for the Sierra. So these are big time storm systems, and we've got some amazing accumulation ahead here. One more stop, northeast, nothing has changed. Still very light accumulations uh, later today through 2-2. Vermont, New York, New Hampshire, and Maine. All right, guys, quite a period here. Love seeing this. We'll end on the grand total map here. Again, um, today through 210, three different storm systems. And wherever you see the purple, that's a foot or more on this map. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it, and take care.